Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. So it's still not quite bright light outside, so forgive the, the darkness. I've got the lights on as much as possible. But today we're talking about rejoicing and then hoping in the Lord. And our devotion says, Rejoice and exult in hope. Raise a shout of joy. You have good reason to be joyful because you're on your way to heaven. I have paid the penalty for your sins and clothed you in my righteousness. This is the basis of hope for you in my, excuse me, for you, for all who truly know me as a Savior. No matter what's going on in your life at this time, your hope in me is secure. No one will be able to snatch you out of my hand. In me, you have absolute eternal, eternal security. Be constant in prayer at all times but especially when you're struggling. During trials, you need close communication with me more than ever. However, your ability to concentrate may be hampered by stress and fatigue. So make full use of the amazing source of strength within you, my spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit to control your mind, to think through you, pray through you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your prayers need not be pretty or proper. Just let them flow out of your current situation. As you stay in communication with me, I help you to be steadfast and patient in suffering. But isn't it reassuring to know that nothing can take us away from the God's hands once we're there? And that all our sins and things are paid for through Jesus Christ by the death on the cross. But today our scripture comes from... Um, our devotion comes from these scriptures. Romans 12, 12. Rejoice and exult in hope. Be steadfast and patient in suffering and tribulation. Be constant in prayer. And Titus 2, 11 and 13. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. While we wait for the blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. And John 10, 28. I give my followers eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. And then Romans 8, 6. The mind of a sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is life and peace. And he does bring us life and peace and a joy that no one or nothing in this world can give us. So just call on him when you're struggling. I do daily. And like I said, the scripture says it doesn't have to be a beautiful, proper prayer. It just needs to come from here. Whatever your situation is, speak honestly to the Lord. Even if it's just saying, help me. And he will be there. So thank you, my friends, for being with us another day for our daily devotions. And I pray that you have a beautiful, blessed day. And I will see you later on this afternoon. God bless. Bye-bye.